everybody, welcome to our next video where we are visiting Badlands National Park. For this visit, we stayed at The Wall. The Wall is a place to boondock. Boondocking is basically no hookup camping. And in this particular place, it's not a campground, it's not someone's house. So this is the first time we've ever really done this. No electricity, no water, no sewer, no designated campsites, no host. It's just you and the time we were there, about 50 of your friends are camping and you just pick a spot, uh, try to pick a level spot, do the best you can, and you just set your camper up, you make a camp, and uh, it's completely free, and you can be there, I think, at the wall as long as you want. Uh, there were no restrictions, uh, so it's just free camping, uh, and you get to have the view behind you uh, as you're camping. So with this being kind of like our first real boondocking time, I was a bit nervous pulling in. I did tons of research. Anybody who boondocks knows what the wall is and has either been there or has it on their list to go. So I wasn't super worried about it, but pulling in was super cool. There's campers of all types, whether you're a tent or a huge like motor home, everybody is there. And um, the views are just so awesome. Like we were just pulling in, it was like, oh my gosh, look how awesome this is. We had a super cool spot where you can actually like walk out onto like the ledge of the Badlands, I guess. It was so cool there. So part of the fun for us to boondock right now is we don't have a working RV fridge. As you saw in our last video, we have a mini fridge uh, that needs constantly plugged in to household electricity. So we ran our generator probably more than you should at the wall, but we were pretty far away. We tried to pick a spot that was generator conscious to be further away from other people. And we did go all scout around and our neighbors could barely hear the generator. So we tried to be as respectful as we could. One night in the middle of the night, there was a big storm that came through uh, and it was pretty cool to see all the lightning strike uh, over the Badlands. So with our fridge no longer working, that means that we no longer have a freezer either. No freezer in the mini fridge. So everything that was in the freezer was thawing and we had to cook them. So we had these venison steaks from my dad, thanks dad, that were thawing and we had to cook them. And it was also almost 100 degrees, so I cooked them outside in a windstorm on our butane stove, which was quite challenging. But they turned out to be some of the best steaks I've ever had. So it was really quite amazing. Uh, they were delicious. And Dad, we also need a refill. Arriving into Badlands was one of the coolest park entries I think we've ever been to. Right when we started to approach the sign, there were all these buffalo that were just out grazing in the prairie. And then when we pulled up a little further, we saw pronghorn. And then when we pulled up a little further, after we actually got into the park, then there were prairie dogs. And it was so cool just all of a sudden entering this park and seeing all this wildlife, it made for a really great start to our Badlands experience. The main thing to do when visiting this park is to do the 39 mile scenic drive and it is scenic. There are sections where you have muted browns and reds and they're really craggy and then sometimes they're rounded but then you get into an area like the yellow mounds where you have yellows and greens and purples and it's just so pretty. Everywhere in the park seems to be a little bit different but overall the scenic drive is super awesome. We also saw a lot of people bringing their RVs through the park. Uh, a lot of the overlooks there seem to be 
RV friendly parking, so that's pretty helpful for people. You might be wondering, like I was, what exactly are the Badlands? And I'm gonna try to explain it as best I can, which is basically erosion over time of soft sedimentary materials like volcanic ash and seafloor beds and other things. And actually, fun fact for you, the Badlands erodes about one inch a year. We really loved our visit to the Badlands. When we were talking about doing a third trip this year, Kyle threw out going to the Badlands and looking on the map, it just seemed so far away. And then looking at pictures, it seemed kind of uneventful. But going here just changed everything for us. Uh, we had just such an awesome time. The landscape is out of this world. We had never seen anything like it. The wildlife is just everywhere and so diverse and we just really enjoyed everything about it. It was a great opener into the west of the country for us and also a great introduction of how awesome boondocking can be.
as we were driving on our way on I-90 to the wall, I saw this sign that said feed the prairie dogs and I was so excited I told Kyle we are going there and then we did and um, it was super cool. So when you pull into the parking lot you see this giant prairie dog sculpture um, and then you park but you have to watch where you drive because the prairie dogs they kind of hang out in the parking lot so you have to be careful where you're going and then you go into the store and you can buy a bag of peanuts to actually feed them they're a dollar each and we bought four bags and then you buy your bags and then you go out and then you find a prairie dog and then you just try to feed them We were trying to figure out what the best way to actually feed them is. We weren't sure if you just hand them because they're shelled or if you crush them up to get the loose peanuts. Um, both seem to work. The prairie dogs, they're just all over. They're chirping around. It's so fun to watch. And they're so fat. Like everybody comes to see these prairie dogs, but it was so cool to feed them. Reach out a little further, maybe. So as soon as you enter the state of South Dakota, you start seeing all these billboards for Wall Drug. Wall Drug is basically a big old tourist trap. They have um, like trinket shops and restaurants and tons of people go there and it's just kind of something that you have to check off the box. We did, we went there and checked it out. It's not really our thing because it's a lot of people there, but it was kind of neat just to see it.
Thanks for watching our video at the Badlands. We really enjoyed this latest adventure. Uh, we think that everyone should visit there if they're anywhere near the Wall, South Dakota area. It's very beautiful. You can spend uh, just a few hours there and see most of it, or you can take a much deeper dive, go hiking and get off the beaten path and see much, much more if you choose to. So we really enjoyed it and encourage people to go there. So thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for our next video where we visit Custer State Park, uh, Wind Caves National Park, and Mount Rushmore.